All right, so picking up where I left off on the previous video, I just unraveled these snails from the damp tissue and they appear to be in good shape. So I can already tell this one, and most of them are just motionless, but this one already can see out of the shell and suctioned itself to the side of the container. The others are kind of still, but they are pink and look okay. This is the, the biggest one. The original order that I had when they all arrived. Okay, and that looks like it's alive there, like the, just sticking to the bottom. But the original order I had when they all arrived dead, this was, they're all probably this size. These are all smaller. So I did order, you know, I was ordering 10. There's an extra one here, there's 11. There's two separate ones stuck to each other here. Yeah, so, I mean, I'm not really concerned that they're they're small. I actually kind of like them that way, because I like get them, getting them smaller, and then they can just grow in my tanks, and then, you know, they'll have a longer life if they're younger and smaller. Um, but yeah, I've want, been wanting to get ram's horns snails for a while, and now I finally got them, and... Here's my 10 gallon tank. This is right now serving as a holding tank for most of these fish that I've, over the past um, three weeks or so, I've been getting, doing several fish hauls and putting them in here until I treat them with preventative quarantine medications and then move most of them to other tanks and this will end up being Mutt Guppy Tank 2.0, so guppies will be staying here, but most of the other fish will be moving. And I'll add these ram's horns to this snail, I mean to this tank. So this Mutt Guppy 2.0 tank will also be my ram's horn snail tank until the population grows, and then I'll expand, spread the snails to my other tanks. But now I'm going to just put some water in here to try to revitalize some of them before maybe do some oh, um, make sure they're all alive before I add them in here all right give them some water some so just floating some of them just still hiding inside their shells but you can see this one right here barely see that. You can see it's snail antennas are out. It's moving at a snail pace. But yeah. Alright. Finally got some ram's horn snails. Excited about that. So now I have um Bladder snails, Malaysian trumpet snails. I got Malaysian trumpet snails. I ordered online a year ago, over a year ago now, I think. I got those from getgills.com. These ram's horn snails from eBay. And the bladder snails I got, they was just came as hitchhikers with the plants. And in this tank, I have lots of these type of little short, they're kind of, sh Swirly like ram's horn snails, but they're like these little flat sideways ones. I don't know, whatever those are called. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna get these in the tank and then stay tuned for what's ahead because I am going to be doing the preventative maintenance or preventative medications and quarantine medications, whatever you want to call it, be treating these, and these plants that I got from eBay uh, recently are going to be, right now, like, this is a holding tank for the fish and the plants, I just put them in here, I'm going to move those around to other plant, other tanks, and yeah, just 
after almost pretty much going all of 2020 without um, getting anything new, any new fish, plants, or much of anything, and not being able to have the time to tend to my tanks as much. I'm hoping I can do more in 2021, and it all starting with these fish here because I I kind of overcompensated getting so many um, initially just for starting repopulating this mutt guppy tank, but then just having having gone a year without getting new fish, I just kind of went overboard a little bit and got a lot more, but got it. just that excitement of um, the fish keeping hobby that I've been kind of haven't been getting enough of in a long time, so yeah. Alright, enough rambling. Well, that's it for now. And remember, I'm Jeff, and I enjoy fishies. Thanks for watching.